Sue Chiblow has been on our First Nations Advisory Council for quite some time, since the beginning. She is probably one of the busiest people I've ever met, despite the fact that she was running uh, for council at Garden River First Nation, uh, completing her PhD, uh, collaborating with a number of different First Nations on environmental projects. Uh, she still took my phone calls, every time. My English name is Sue Chibbo. I'm from Garmer First Nation. And my specialty or area of work is um, I've worked with the Chiefs of Ontario for 15 years and with First Nation communities. And when working with the Chiefs of Ontario, I worked on water issues, um, specifically drinking water. A lot of communities don't have clean drinking water. And we also did the um, Anishinaabek, Mishkigwak, Hongwe Hongwe Water Declaration in Ontario. So environmental stuff is my specialty. I've been involved with Water First since um, I was contacted to sit with them as, a, as on an advisory committee, um, an Indigenous advisory committee. So since then, which has been I don't know maybe three four years, I've been involved with them. I support them because of the work that they do. I think it's important for them um, to work with the First Nation communities. And because of my experiences with them, I've seen the relationships that they've established with the communities and they're very res respectful relationships and they're reciprocal relationships. Water First just doesn't come into the community and take and leave. They come into the community and they bring and they collaborate and they do consultation with the community on how these programs should work. So this is one of the reasons why I support them. I asked the people sitting around, do you have a spouse or a partner? Yes, yes, yes. Would you go and buy a house without talking to your partner. Um, no, that's what consultation is to us. 